Welcome back to our last episode of SESN for the 2018 year. I'm your anchor, Mrs. Claus. And for our first story, we're going to be taking it out to Cam Alexander, who's going to be talking about the recent Mix It Up Day activity at Zons. Out to you, Cam. Thanks, Bailey. This past Thursday, Zons held their first annual Mix It Up Day. Mix It Up Day is a day where kids are assigned to different lunch tables and sit with new people and make new friends. The grades that participated in this were 4th, 5th, and 6th. The high school National Honor Society helped out by asking the kids questions at the tables. I can't wait for the kids to mix it up again next year. Back to you, Bailey. Thanks, Cam. It was a great event for all of us to be a part of. And now we're going to take it out to Allie, who's going to be talking about the second annual Red Streak Ridges. Out to you, Allie. Thanks, Bailey. Today I'll be interviewing the person behind Red Streak Ridges, Libby Crothers. What exactly is the Red Streak Ridges? The Red Streak Ridges is a fundraiser put on by the Piketon Athletic Department here at Piketon High School. How do you get into the Red Streak Riches? We, for the Red Streak Riches, we sell 300 tickets. Each ticket is worth a, you, you donate $100 for each ticket. How, what are the prizes for this Red Streak Riches? The prizes for the Red Streak Riches, the main grand prize is $10,000. Someone will walk away winning $10,000. And then every 20th ticket drawn wins $100. And then we have a couple of increments that we give out. One is um, $200, $300, and $1,000. What is served at this event? This year, what will be served is with your ticket, you get two meals. You can pick between baby back ribs or chicken parmesan and cheese potatoes, green beans, a roll, a salad, and Aunt Overly's delicious cookies that she serves, the sugar cookies. When and where will this be? The activity, the fundraiser is at Piketon High School in the gymnasium on March the 30th, 2019, and it'll start at 6 o'clock. Doors open at 5.30. Thank you, Libby. Back to you, Bailey. Thanks, Allie. If you would like to support the Piketon High School baseball team, contact a coach or a player in order to receive a $20 voucher for a 7 to 10 pound semi-boneless ham. <laughs> ham! Sorry about that. Riley's just a really big fan of ham. <laughs> and now we're going to take it out to Cece, who's going to be talking about Hamilton Club. Out to you, Cece. Thanks, Bailey. This year at PHS, we have a new club, and this club is called the Hamilton Club. The 50 students in this club are part of a program called the Gilder Lehrman Institute of American History. In this program, we had to do a project on a historical event or a person during the American Revolution. The best project in this group will be recorded and sent in for a chance to perform on the stage. We get to see Hamilton the Musical on January 25th in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We also get the chance to have a question and answer session with the cast. Can't wait to see this amazing performance. Back to you, Bailey. Thanks, Cece. Glad we're not throwing away our shot. And now we're going to take it out to Colton, who's going to be talking about the start of the boys' basketball season. Out to you, Colton. Hey, everybody. It's Colton here. Today, we're going to be talking about basketball. Once again, I'm here with Blake. How's it going, Blake? It's going pretty good. Is it going good? All right. <laughs> Anyways, basketball. So, I got a couple questions to ask you. One of them being, how's the season going so far? Um, season's not starting like we expected. We're two and three right now in the start of the season, so we're hoping for better. All right. Uh, well, I mean, watching a couple games, I've realized, hey, maybe you guys are struggling with a couple things, but you guys can get better, and hopefully, oh, yeah. it's, hopefully it's in check by time tournaments roll around. Oh, yeah. Uh, number two, with the season not going the way it's going, how's the atmosphere with the players and the coaches in practice and in the locker room? Um, locker room and practice atmosphere has gotten a lot better. This week's been a good week for us to have a whole week off not playing actual games and just having practice time. Mm -hmm. So we're more up-tempo in practices. We're talking. We're focusing. We're not goofing off like we were the other weeks before when we had five games in an eight-day period. So, I mean, that's just hard to come off of. Yeah. So, I mean, we're doing better in practices. Good. Uh, lastly, you guys are two and three. Is the season going the way you expected it to go? Not at all. No, um, we expected to be better at this time being, but we can't. We don't hold this heavy over our heads because we know what we can be. We know yep. we're better than what our record shows. Gotcha. Well, it's exciting to hear about basketball with you once again, and I'll be excited to hear some more updates coming. So, thanks, Blake. Back to you, Bailey. Thanks, Colton. We're all hoping for a really good season. Tonight we're at Unyota and the pep section theme will be blackout. And tomorrow is the all day event in Huntington, so we're just going to wear spirit wear. 
And that's all for this last episode of the year for SVSN. And from all of us here, we hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And as always, it's a great day to be a Piketon Red Streak. Ho, ho, ho. We like the basketball. Oh, oh, oh. We're playing basketball. We like the basketball. We're playing basketball. We're playing basketball. You don't want to continue it? <laughs>